From the ability to enter a dormant state for up to 30 years, to the fortitude to withstand minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit, today we look at why this creature is virtually indestructible. Number 10. Many names. The scientific name for these microscopic water dwellers is tardigrata, meaning slow steppers, as named by Italian biologist Lazzaro Spallanzini in 1977. But in modern times, the public has come to know these strange creatures by names that tend to sound a bit more endearing. Their tendency to thrive in hydrated environments, coupled with their stout appearance and clawed appendages, has earned this species adorable nicknames like water bears and moss piglets. In reality, though, these creatures are far from a million, sharing a closer relation to other segmented and multi-legged animals like velvet worms. Number 9. Strange Bodies Barrel-shaped, segmented, and sporting four pairs of short, stumpy legs, the tardigrade has a fairly unique frame. They're incredibly small, measuring between 0.3 and 0.5 millimeters on average, though some species have been known to grow as large as 1.2 millimeters. The body can be separated into five different sections, with a segment designated for its head, three pairs of legs, and its hindquarters, which host the fourth and final pair of legs. These stubby appendages don't contain joints, but do host four to eight claws on each end. Tardigrades rely on the inner pairs for movement, as they're naturally positioned straight and downward, leaving the fourth pair, which juts backward, to grip onto substrate. Their outer layer is composed of chitin and protein, and will molt with regularity. While these creatures are microscopic, it's important to note that they're a far cry from single-celled organisms, with some adult species having as many as 40,000 cells each. But this can vary greatly, as there are more than a thousand known species of tardigrade in existence. These tiny potato-esque animals can be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores, and they absorb nutrients from cells of other organisms by piercing them with their tube-shaped mouths, which hide a flurry of knife-like teeth. Number 8. Suspended Animation Tardigrades are incredibly durable. They can withstand a wide variety of hazardous conditions and thrive without issue. But in some extreme cases, the tiny water bears must rely on a hidden talent to continue their survival. Entering a state called cryptobiosis, the roots of which mean hidden life, these organisms are able to enter a type of suspended animation, which leaves them appearing deceased to the outside world. In reality, though, these creatures have lost much of their hydration and shut down in their bodily function, dropping their metabolic rate to a mere 0.01% of its normal state. This is the same process sea monkeys endure, which is why adding water will make the otherwise dry organism spring to life. Tardigrades can survive in this dehydrated state for up to five years or even longer in some cases. They even last even longer without food or water, surviving as long as 30 years. However, they still need a form of hydration at some point. As tardigrades enter this dehydrated state, they utilize a specific disordered protein to replace water in their cells, leading to a glassy appearance they maintain while in suspended animation. Number 7. Dry Migrations as tardigrades lose up to 99% of their body weight, the microscopic organisms revert to a stage known as ton. Tons are in the previously mentioned state of suspended animation, and with such little energy output they become extremely lightweight and lose the ability to grasp onto a surface. This makes them susceptible to the hazards of nature as they become prone to being swept up in wind currents, only to be displaced in a fashion similar to seeds and spores. Once they enter a new habitat which can rehydrate and sustain them, a single tardigrade can produce an entire colony by themselves using a form of self-fertilization in a process called parthenogenesis. This form of reproduction isn't their main method, however, as male and female water bears are capable of spawning offspring through combined egg-laying efforts as well. Each adolescent tardigrade is born already equipped with adult cells. Throughout their lifespan, rather than having their cells divide and multiply with maturity, their cells simply get bigger. As their bodies expand, these creatures will molt off excess layers up to 12 times during their lifetime. In females who tend to grow larger than their male counterparts, the cuticles they shed can be filled with eggs, ready to be fertilized and continue the cycle of colony expansion. Number 6. Long Lineage Though tardigrades may be sturdier than most any other creatures in existence, able to withstand a number of typically lethal hazards and enter a dormant state for up to 30 years, their active lifespan is relatively short, at anywhere between 3 months and 2 years. But thanks to their inherent ability to survive and prolifically thrive, these microscopic animals have spread worldwide and have expanded to approximately 
1,150 known species, with more being discovered often. Their modern presence is certainly impressive, but perhaps even more astounding is just how far back in history tardigrades originate. Scientists have discovered fossils of water bears dating back to over 530 million years ago, and have come to believe tardigrades could have existed as many as 600 million years ago. Thanks to some fossil specimens found in deposits in Siberia and North America, as well as a few found suspended in amber, researchers have pinpointed their existence in both the Mid-Cambrian period as well as the Cretaceous Age. By comparison, dinosaurs are thought to have first appeared 230 million years ago. These minuscule critters are so tough, in fact, that they have survived all five mass extinctions known to man. Number 5. Comfortable Anywhere Truthful to their nickname, water bears prefer to take residence in damp, hydrated locations, whether dug into the sediments along a lake bed or hiding within the moist moss near the edge of a pond. Tardigrades will most likely be found flourishing in such wet environments. But just because they favor these settings doesn't mean they'll always end up there. For the most part, tardigrades are subject to their environment and must adapt to whatever fate has in store for them, a function they excel in given the longevity of this animal's existence. Whether taken by strong winds or carried on the feet of other animals, these microscopic organisms get around to all ends of the planet, from hot springs to mountaintops, from the equator to either polar region of the Earth. Tardigrades have been found surviving despite the variable conditions. In their preferred damp ecosystem, tardigrades play an important role along with other microscopic microscopic organisms such as algae, bacteria, mites, and nematodes as sustenance for many larger aquatic species. However, when tardigrades enter new environments they might not normally be found in, they create an opportunity for a new ecosystem. Their transition typically will attract other microscopic creatures to take up residence, and predators that feed on such organisms will soon follow suit. Number 4. Temperature Apathy One of the most intriguing defenses in the tardigrades arsenal is the ability to withstand extreme temperatures with seemingly no issue. Water bears have been found capable of survival in extremely heated scenarios, resisting temperatures as high as 304 degrees Fahrenheit for at least a few minutes before the warmth takes a toll on their bodies. To demonstrate how rare this is, consider the fact that at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, most cell membranes undergo a serious structural change. While they can't handle such a high temperature for long, hot bodies of water reaching well over 100 degrees have been shown to be a comfortable setting for tardigrades. On the other side of the coin, these animals are able to tolerate extreme cold to the point of freezing. Scientists have observed entire colonies of tardigrades surviving 18,196 feet above sea level along the face of the Himalayan mountains. Some have been discovered buried under hundreds of feet of ice in Antarctica, living in temperatures as low as minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. If that wasn't impressive enough, some researchers have gone so far as to freeze some species of tardigrades solid before thawing them over eight years later. Rather than simply warm the cadavers of these microscopic animals, these scientists were able to actually resurrect the chilled water bears, granting them up to another 150 days of life. Number 3. Extreme Adaptions the supreme durability of tardigrades isn't just limited to strange levels of hydration and dangerous temperatures. These creatures have shown incredible endurance when it comes to variables such as pressure, radiation, and toxic environments as well. Scientists have determined these tardigrades can live within varying amounts of pressure, surviving extremities as low as those experienced in a vacuum or as high as the equivalent of 6,000 atmospheres. That's six times the pressure of the Mariana Trench, the world's deepest ocean trench. Just 5 to 10 gray, the standard unit of measuring radiation, is enough to be fatal to humans. But tardigrades have shown the ability to persist in as much as 5,000 gray. Originally, this resistance to ionizing radiation was thought to be due to their dormant state, granting them less chemicals in their system that would otherwise react to such exposure. But even hydrated tardigrades are resilient in the face of UV radiation, hypothetically because of the ability to repair their own DNA from such damage. And when submerged in chemicals that would otherwise be considered toxic, the tardigrade has emerged victorious once more, surviving in agents such as the volatile compound carbolic acid, the corrosive gas hydrogen sulfide, and pure alcohol. Number 2. Space Survivor of all the organisms on Earth, tardigrades are unique in their ability to survive after being exposed to space. Scientists first learned this in 2007 when the Photon M3 mission carried groups of dehydrated tardigrades into low Earth orbit as part of the European Space Agency's Biopan payload. This batch of water bears were subjected to varying amounts of solar radiation and the vacuum of space for 10 days before being returned to study the after effects. Once returned to Earth, 
Researchers found 68% of the specimens not exposed to solar radiation were revived within half an hour, many of which were capable of reproducing viable offspring. Of the samples that were exposed to the full effects of space, there was a much higher mortality rate. However, not all of them perished as three individuals survived the ordeal. A 2011 mission to the International Space Station furthered scientists' knowledge of the subject as they determined factors like microgravity and cosmic radiation had little effect on survival. Another mission in April of 2019 failed as the Israeli lunar lander known as Bereshit crashed on the moon's surface while carrying a capsule of tardigrades in their cryptobiotic state. Scientists have stated there may be a chance that these water bears survived for some time on the moon, raising hopes for the possibility of securing life outside of Earth. Number 1. Confusing DNA while definitely classified as a microanimal, scientists in 2015 discovered an anomaly while examining the tardigrade's genome. They were stunned to learn that over 17% of the water bear's genes were more akin to the kind found in non-animals, like bacteria, plants, and viruses. Tardigrades attain these genes through a process called horizontal gene transfer, or HGT. The species is similar to bacteria that grows to resist antibiotics by absorbing the genes of surrounding organisms. Other organisms experience HGT, but not nearly at the level of tardigrades. For example, a microscopic plankton, known as rotifers, goes through horizontal gene transfer and has the next highest amount of non-animal organism genes at 9%, nearly half of the tardigrade. 